Well, from the future of rocket warfare, we head to a different kind of battle. It's the real reason I didn't get any sleep last night, and if you thought you heard sleigh bells, that's because it might as well be Christmas in June. It's finally time to talk Star Wars Squadrons. Now, okay, I promise you we are going to get a first look at some brand new gameplay in just a moment. But first, for anyone who doesn't fully grasp why I'm so excited, ding, 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 earlier ding. this week, EA and Lucasfilm dropped a trailer that literally gave me all the feels, chills, joy, excitement, and then more chills on top of that. Take a look. It's a good trailer. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the people who have done the breakdown at the um, UI? No, I don't think so. I'll have to I'll have to send that to you on Twitter. But somebody actually went screen by screen and they're saying it looks like the UI is customizable. I'm the perfect shot. Huh. And I sent that uh, Twitter that they have joystick joystick compatibility with it. Yep. Yep. So five pilots. One everybody's screaming about that. The galaxy's finest. I just hope they show us some actual gameplay here in a couple minutes. I just want to see how much of a story there is. Supposedly, they're trying to make a story into that. Right? Yeah, I, I'm willing to bet, given the price, that it's less than six hours. Wow. Oh, yeah. The eight year old and all and of us celebrating price and excited. Of $40 the 37 year old yes. man yep. on this couch is excited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, I have the honor and privilege of helping introduce a new Star Wars title. And here to put the hype in hyperdrive is none other than nice. Motive's creative director, Ian Frazier. Hello, Ian. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Yay, I follow him on Twitter. I've been doing how it for you? years. Doing good. So How'd like you Ian. Get to show this to people. <laughs> I bet. Now, uh, in my copious notes I have on you, I'm told you are quite the He's Star from, Wars fan. Uh, have been a long Bioware, time. How long Montreal, have you yeah. Star Wars? Oh. I've been a Star Wars fan for pretty much like my whole life. I don't even remember the first time I saw the movies. And as a kid, there was, was a lot like of different art parts director of Star Wars I loved. On One Andromeda. of them was being a pilot, that idea of climbing into an X-Wing or a TIE fighter. So, you know, I played all the flight games in the 90s, and I got pretty obsessive about them. I'd pause, meticulously draw the insides of the cockpits and stuff. And actually, I dug up some of those drawings from my parents' attic over the holidays. <laughs> We're showing them right now to the world. Wow. This strikes me as above and beyond the normal level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, I think at Motive, you'll find that quite a few people have that level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, when we started this project, I talked to a lot of people as they joined the team, and a lot of them had similar kinds of stories of things they'd done as kids. One of them even built a functional cockpit in his garage. Wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's fandom on another level. How do you nice. guys go from being a fan, drawing what you see in the game, or building a cockpit in your garage, to actually making this game? Well, I think that fandom, just love of Star Wars, has provided a really good foundation for us. But on top of that, of course, the team at Motive got a lot of experience working with Star that's Wars. Over his right shoulder Battle there Front is actually 2. really cool. And when Battlefront 2 wrapped my up, over here. there was a really small group of us that were really into, particularly the pilot experience within Star Wars. And we wanted to make something new, something that really went all in on that part of the fantasy. And so we we did kind of a grassroots initiative, or started a little passion project, and that ramped so up into eventually. So they essentially took that piece out of Battlefront. It looks like and you talk about you know your right? passion for this, your nostalgia you for Star Wars flight games of the past. Space How do you mm -hmm. honor Absolutely. that but make something brand new? It's been interesting. You know, we, we were trying to kind of pull from that spiritual heritage of many different games in that time period. Um, at the same time, we want to do something that feels fresh and new for fans today. And so what we've tried to look at is sort of the spiritual core of what I think are the best of the Star Wars flight games of the past. And what they did that I love is that they made that part of the universe real. The level of depth and detail that they show in the ships, the, the way that you control them, is something that I remember fondly from my childhood and is something that we're trying to do very much with squadrons. You know, in real life, being a pilot is, is hard. It takes skill. And that's something that you'll see throughout the game. You know, as you start off playing, it's pretty straightforward, fly around, shoot your lasers. But as you get deeper into it, you start learning how to divert energy from your lasers to your to your engines, how to shift your shields from the front to so the back to cover your butt in a dogfight. Is 2020 or and 2021 going skill, to be the spacey you can do one? Really crazy Isn't this like stuff. the fourth? Like you can boost your engines, fly space ahead, game that we've seen cut them at off, a press conference whip so around far? 180 and shoot a missile off your own yeah, tail while drifting backwards. Like real okay. ace pilot stuff. And that's that's really where we have a lot of fun with the game. I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that. 
I understand the nuts and bolts of how to play it. Is there a single player story? Is there a multiplayer mode? What are we getting into? It's actually some of both. So the game starts with a brand new single player story, takes place a little bit after Return of the Jedi, and it has kind of a, a unique dual perspective approach to it. So when the game starts, you're gonna create two pilots. You create a New Republic pilot and an Imperial pilot, and you're gonna alternate between Character their perspectives, creator. mission to mission, over the course of the story. You're gonna meet a diverse cast of characters along really? the way, and also a few familiar faces. Now, when you're done with that story, and you've played maybe a bit in the practice range, you say, hey, I wanna try multiplayer. We wanna make it really easy oh. for you to hop online with your friends and play competitive space battles at that point. Um, and so we, we've done a lot to try to reduce the barriers, to make it as easy as possible for you to play with your friends. And so I'm happy to say we fully support cross-play. You could be on PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC. You could be playing uh -huh. on traditional uh -huh. VR, which, fun fact, the entire game supports VR from beginning to end, which is pretty cool. But regardless of how you're Somebody playing, which platform, if they, they could all the play together. The VR, that would be like friend, amazing. Connect, have an awesome space battle. You just death starred my mind, man. Like, I don't, that's awesome. That is, uh, the big you question. Uh, for $40? For uh, 40 long, bucks? actually. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is coming out on October 2nd. Wow. Okay. Okay, not too long at all. I was worried about you. I thought you were going to leave me on a <laughs> teaser there. You didn't. You actually delivered. I appreciate that. The next big ask I have, on behalf of everybody watching, I'm sure, who came here for one specific reason, can we see some new gameplay of it? Can we see any gameplay of it? Absolutely. I, I kind of figured you might want to. On behalf of everyone at Motive and the team at Lucasfilm, I am very happy to show you the world's first look at gameplay of if Star Wars. If this isn't Squadrons. legit gameplay, they're going to get destroyed. Yep. And they need, they need the to show the HUD here. But the Imperial fleet is still a threat. Vanguard Squadron. Let's make history. This is it, Titan Squadron. Everything we've done has led to this. Finish those Vanguard scum! This is Star Wars Squadron. Earn your wings in a single-player story spanning two factions. All stations! Fire on that ship! And master of multiplayer battles that looks is a pretty. squadron of five. It's been, it's been a the minute. Entire game in VR. This is the definitive okay, so Star that's, Wars that's gameplay there. Experience. There we go. That's the way to have the HUD right You'll there. Begin your career in a single player story. Yeah, it's interesting. It's all on Welcome the cockpit. It's not like where you'll play as two combat around. pilots. Flying you know. for both the Empire and the New Republic. It's really interesting that you have to make both. You'll experience this world be totally. your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, nice. targeting, and wow. shields. Wow. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, prove your skills well, on you gotta wonder why the heck nobody else did this before now. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyard. Harrison Dula. One of my Whoa. spies has linked the attacks with the New Republic Starhawk project. The Sound like her too. Two pilots you play. Stick together. We'll oh, I'm the sure it is. Of power in the galaxy. Get ready. Let him have it. <laughs> to take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's Do you think this is going to, uh... Support well, ships I'll ask can later. keep allies right safe and stocked up. As well as disrupting Ooh, enemy fighters. That's a narrow view on that wow. ship, on the, on the U-wing. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters. Able to deal devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. But if you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take yep, care you of customize them. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot Okay, now, Kidley, do you think this is going to do anything to the, the remaining game. people who play this? From in cosmetics Sport? to an arsenal uh, of over 50 space, components that space alter how you ships fly, Whoa. fight, and survive. They're on you! I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron strategy. One show, no, I'm tunnel visioning right now, Finally geeking out over what I'm seeing on screen right now. In Star Wars Squadron's <laughs> multiplayer modes. I'll ask again later. First up, dogfights. 
This is an all-out 5v5 battle. Man, five, that was the best! Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. He's kind of looking at the instruments. There's like, like mini maps on the instruments. Turrets and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature mode, Fleet Battles. Fleet Battles are multi-stage conflicts. Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. That's nice. So you can straight up do five players versus AI your team if you don't want to PvP. To solidify strategy, coordinate that loadouts, would be good and prepare for takeoff. First, push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, attack or defend two medium-sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ships. And finally, the ultimate goal. Target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship. So this mode they're kind of taking from Battlefront 2 a little bit. At each phase, your squadron but it looks like they're expanding the on it. Yeah. Well, that was what, that was what I was asking. Yeah. This is just, they pulled that out and then blew it up. Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy, sensors can't spot you. So the question is, how are people who don't want to talk on mic gonna be able to type while doing all this? Type <laughs> check. A unified squadron is the key to victory. Making my attack run now. Let's make this count. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are disappointed that the fifth ship on the rebellion side is the U-boat and not the B-wing. Join the galaxy's finest. But this is pretty impressive. I was going to say, you should be happy with what you got. <laughs> the hope of this galaxy. 